Okay, this is Aiden Mounds. It's out in the middle of nowhere. There's one over there. Can't see them well with the trees grown up. And the archaeologists, this is what they tell them to do. So this is what they do. This is not a very big one though. Um, that one doesn't look very big either. But you can see, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Dirt roads, fields. But it's nice. The air feels so good. So nice. And got to shield our eyes from the sun. And this is the sign. It's one side of it. And then we're going to walk over here and get the other side of it. Pretty cool. They even got the little code on there where you can... Um, find out about it but one problem I don't have a QR code on my phone so that doesn't help me any okay this is the Cary Mound site it's like on a vacant lot but I'm sure somebody owns it so you can't really see it good and I'm not we're not in the best places, so I'm not going to push it. <laughs> I'm trying to see it or spend much time here. But it's big. You can tell it's big. All the way from there to there. It's a big, big, big mound. I don't know how, does that say how tall it is? <sighs> All right. Some big old trees out here, though. I see that. No, that's why you can't see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All those trees and the brush and That's true. stuff under there. Okay, this is the Lake George Mound. Uh, they're claiming it only has one, but it may have had as many as 28 different mounds, which is amazing to me. I'm going to take a picture of this side. Look at that. It goes through mound A to mound uh, P. Wow. No, it goes through X, Y, Z nearly. It's got B, W, X, Y, mound. T, U, B. I don't know if it's got a U. I don't see a U. Mound H, mound B. I think it jumps from T to V. W, X, Y. So I don't have a U or I don't see it. If it has it, I'm not seeing it. Okay, the, this shows the sun here. So on that side, and there's one over that graveyard, and then on this side of the... Well, actually there's two. Well, maybe one further up the road. And then it had an earthen embankment here, and an earthen embankment here. So that's two. So they were on this side of the road as well. Yeah, you can see a slight mound there where it was one that's been plowed over. Probably one in the distance too. And like I said, the graveyard up there is one. Wow. And you can see the going up there, there was one there. Yeah, you can see where the rem remnants of some of them were. And right there even. Uh-huh. Yeah. And even in the woods, you can see remnants of them. Yeah. But this is the biggest one. Probably. I mean, even out yonder, I can see a slight rise. And anywhere there's a slight rise, that's probably where there was a mound. Man, that's cool. And it, But it shows it on both sides of this road. There was mounds on this side and mounds on this side. Most of them probably, I think, were on this side. Well, there was really about as many on both sides. Just the bigger ones were on this side. So, and you probably can't see some of the others, in the raised up areas, because of the, this one. Wow, that's interesting. But apparently there's another sign up the road. Now see, you can see right, right through yonder, that's where we were. And this is the same one. There's a mound there. There's a mound there. Even though they claim they're gone, they're vestiges of them that has not gone. And, uh, well, through those trees right yonder was one. I just was driving and couldn't get it. Uh, and then this sign down here is the same sign. It's just showing you 
probably out in these woods even is some oh that house is built on one yeah or that church it's weird how churches are built on those how they'll build churches and graveyards near these mounds not even realize what they're which that might not be a church that might be just a barn or something but it looks like a church oh yeah definitely that's one there oh yeah that's definitely one there no doubt about it yep and right there that's one you just can't see it really good from here okay It's this is the large one, well, large one right here. You can see how, oh my gosh, look how high it is. That's probably the 55 foot one there that's talking about. Oh my gosh, yeah, look that at that. Was... It's straight up. Yeah. Oh man. Of course, that's... there might be a way you could walk up it at one point. Yeah. My word. You couldn't really see that from sitting out there. That sign though, that is huge. Oh, 55 feet. That's what, a five-story, well, almost a six-story building? I'm not sure. Yeah, eight foot, eight into 55. Yeah, and, you know, you're talking about five, six-story building, Diane. All this yeah. here was part of one because yeah, it's all raised right. up. Yeah. Yeah, that's up raised there, and there's out there in the woods, too. Yeah. And they were, they said they were everywhere, and they really were. Well... And then I'll get this graveyard and I'll pass it. So. Took some effort to find. I still don't see the mound, but I'm sure it's right there somewhere. We'll find it in a minute. But this is the Rolling Fork Mound, so. Can't really see them very good. I can see an up going up a little bit right there. It's mostly trees. What else is new? They're always going to be in the trees. I can see it going up a little bit right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see them better from the highway, maybe where it had mound trail. Yeah, I can see it a little bit right there. That's these are humongous trees. I bet they've been there since they built the place. I'm going right here and see. You know, you see it a little bit going up from here. Not a lot, though. I knew it had to be this area, man. I hunted at that mound cemetery over there. I'm thinking, well, it's probably around the cemetery. Cemetery might even been built on a mound because often they are, but it wasn't. We just had to hunt and right around we found it. Yumdon needs to give better directions. You see it there like it's pretty clean right through the break, but okay, this is not the greatest one for cleanliness, but these are huge trees. Diane, come stand here by this tree. Let me get you by this tree and just show you, just so we can see how big it is. I mean, that tree is, these tr three trees are so big. Don't touch that poison oak right there, though. Whatever you do, don't touch that. That, that should, whoop, don't fall either. Well, I'm trying to get myself kind of level. Yeah, I'll show you how big this tree is. Hold on, I'll make a picture of you too, compared to it. This is Mont Helena. Guy we talked to the day before yesterday. I said, we've been here, and I said, no, but I want to come. It's only about 26 feet high now. But because it had 10 feet of mound fill right, moved, removed from it. And that was probably to build a house. So flood deposits have likely buried several more feet at its base. And that's something. It's prettier from right down the road, though. 
Definitely amazing. But the prettiest view is from right out here. That's the prettiest view right there. This is Anguilla Mounds, one single mound, about 20 feet tall. The original may have been taller. Mississippi period. Well, they did all their excavations on these mounds in 2013, didn't they? Just about. I, I just don't go for that mound, basket loading, making mounds, though. Last time I saw this mound, you could actually see the mound. The Jaketown site is from the same time as the Poverty Point culture, about a thousand BC. Jaketown Mounds, 1500 to 1350 BC. It says a significant archaeological site. It's not significant if you can't see it. No, it's not. Okay, we're at the prehistoric Florence, Alabama mounds. Now that's some stairs. That's a big old tall mound. How tall is it, Diane? Um, it's 40, 43 feet in height, and the base is 310 feet by 230 feet. And the top is flat. Yeah, and it's 145 by 94. This is not quite as tall as that one, that last one yesterday, is it? And yesterday was 50 feet, so it, this is short, shy about 7 feet. But it's big. My goodness. It really is, but it's nice. We are on our way up Florence, Alabama Mound. Some pretty flowers there. And it's getting higher and higher, further and further up. There's the museum. We are on top of the mound, Florence, Alabama. We walked up those steps, and then we have to go back down those steps. <laughs> okay. Indian ceremony in Mount Stone Age City, Florence, February 26, 1945. Well, I wanted to take some video of both uh, sides of this. I try not to tumble down it, that would not be fun. This thing is so high. And I think it goes up on that side. I'm going to walk, kind of walk around it. My trees are not fence down there. You can see by me walking around it. I'm I'm shocked that it's been preserved being in this industrial area like it is. It kind of surprises me. This 
just give you a sense of how high this thing is, how tall it is. The street goes around it. Wow. I mean, I could be on top of a four-story building here, or five even, depending on how tall the floors are. Yeah. And if you did have a building here on top of this, a lot of people have done that. And you could really see a long way. I'm trying to figure out what's the tallest corner of this. I'm not really sure. This side's pretty high. But I'm not sure what's the high side. I think this side is, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll be about the same. So, there we have it. I hope y'all have enjoyed these videos. Be blessed. Okay, we are at the Oakville Mounds. We just came out of the museum. You think you can make it up that, that one, Diane, after the other one? Yeah, that's one they did one. I'm sure I can get up this one. This one, I'll yes. we'll hold that one. Enough. They got school out here today. They having a good time, seemed to be, anyway. We didn't take trips when I was, well, we did some when I was a kid in school, not many. But, uh, took a few. We never went on class trips. We didn't take many. We took some, I think, in the sixth grade. And then we, uh, we I think, took, let junior and seniors, we took a, yeah. a we trip. Took, but Yeah, we took one as seniors, but that's the only time. But, you know, I didn't get to go on. I don't think I got to go on one as either junior or senior. One of them I didn't go on. One of them I did. I don't remember what it was. Larry said, he said, we didn't get to go nowhere but the baseball field on our trip. <laughs> so that's sad. I remember Crystal in the sixth grade, they went to Dolphin Island. Yeah. So. We went to Callaway Gardens when we were seniors. Yeah. You know, before that. Some of them had gone to Washington, D.C. Yeah, and I had the opportunity to do that because I was in the drama class and they went. They were going to sing in the Rose Garden, but I don't know. For some reason, I just didn't want to go and I didn't go. So, And now I regret it. I wish I had, you know. Yeah. I don't remember who was president back then. Carter, I think. That might have been why I didn't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know why. I think it's because I was going to get married in a month and I didn't want to, I had to devote my time to that, so that's probably why, so, but anyway. They claim there's 20-something mounds, but I couldn't see them on Google, I couldn't find them, and I meant to ask them a while ago, but I forgot, I guess I might do that before I leave, because I'm curious as to where they're supposed to be, because well, this know. is my second or third time out here, second time I think, no, third time, I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, and I never asked me each time I come, I didn't ask. Well, they're probably, the others are probably cut down. Yeah, I imagine some of them were, but it said they were. But I mean, I looked out in these fields and see if I saw anything, and I, you know, there might be like the, those other places we went to behind the trees, <laughs> friends' trees. I mean, if they cut them down, you're probably not going to see any no, vestige no. of them. Probably not. Probably not. Like that place yesterday, though, we, you know, you still see the humps from the, where they've yeah. been, and you know, just a little even bit left. Yeah, but, even though they plowed them. But since they plowed them fields up, that's probably, I bet they're out there at the edges on, in the trees or something. Okay, this is, talks about the Cherokee Indian removal right there. They got purple iris, that's pretty. And that's the same sign. Now this tells about the mound right here, Oakville Indian Mound. So, 27 feet high. You know, as many times I've been out here, which is not a lot, but twice I think, I still have never walked up this mound. So, awesome. this time I'm going to get it. High. Here we go. I don't think this is Ooh, that creosote stinks in these timbers. Railroad ties, whatever you want to call them. You know, what are the stones about? Wow, this is a pretty good size mound uh, as far as uh, widths and stuff. I think this one's longer than when 
I was on a while ago, Diane. It looks like coming down off this side. I'm not going to go down off this side, but I mean, look down off this side. It's, pre it's pretty high. This is not as high as the last one. 43 feet, not as high as the one that was 50 feet. Okay, but I don't know what the stones are supposed to be. I have no idea what they are. Because I don't think they said this one was grave or they didn't find any any bones. The kids right there playing in the field. Standing up on the steps and looking off from there. He's walked most of the way around it. And kids are done playing and Rick's in recorder teaching.